A grenade lands beside you. Quick, what should you do? Well, the grenade itself is nothing to fear. It's the shrapnel or metal fragments that will injure or kill you when the grenade explodes. So do you run for it? Hit the deck? Is there anything you can do to avoid getting injured once the grenade explodes? Or should you just say a quick prayer? Can you survive? There are things you can do to lessen the impact on you. Here's how to survive a grenade blast according to science. The grenades that most armies use are called fragmentation grenades. These grenades act like little missiles that spread shrapnel when they detonate. The shrapnel acts like bullets that shoot in every direction. Not something you want entering your body. First, are you in the water or on solid ground? That affects how the explosion occurs and how you should avoid it. Here's what to do if you're in water when a grenade falls close to you. First, get out of the water. Don't dive deeper into the water thinking that the water will somehow protect you. While it is true that flying shrapnel is usually the most dangerous aspect of a grenade, and it's also true that water slows down the shrapnel so it can't hit you as hard, and most of the time the shrapnel actually disintegrates, it's extremely dangerous to stay underwater. The problem is the heavy pressure in the water that's caused by the explosion. After a grenade blast, the water pressure is so strong that it will squeeze your lungs hard. This will seriously injure you, or kill you. So, the most dangerous part of a grenade blast in water is the actual blast itself because it creates the pressure. Outside of the water, the most dangerous part of a grenade explosion is definitely the shrapnel. When a grenade lands beside you on land, get away! First, run and jump away. You'll probably get about four and a half meters away from it. That's about the farthest most people can run within a second or two. Second, lie down. Stay on your stomach with your feet pointing at the grenade. That's the best way to get the least amount of shrapnel hitting your body as it reduces the surface area of your body that the shrapnel has access to. Also, if the shrapnel does hit you, it will enter the soles of your shoes and maybe your feet. That's a lot safer than having it enter your skull. Third, stay down. Turn your face away and keep your head down. Cover your head, eyes and ears. You do not want to expose your flesh, especially your brain, to any part of the explosion. Grenades are extremely dangerous weapons. If one lands beside you, get away as fast as you can. If you don't, you could die. But if you follow the advice in this video, you have a much better chance of surviving a grenade blast, according to science.